On today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, we're getting caught back up with some more leaks. Let's not waste any more time. Let's Talk Drones. What's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. Let's Talk Drones is brought to you by The Droning Company, the number one online resource for commercial remote pilots now worldwide. Make sure you check them out online at thedroningcompany.com and across all major social media platforms. So I apologize, I haven't put out a video in about two weeks because I was in Vancouver for a work trip. And uh, while I was in Vancouver, I actually had time to scroll through social media and that's where I came upon two new leaked pieces of multimedia that feature what appears to be the DJI Air 3S. Let's go ahead and take a look at those now. So first we're taking a look at this photo. This is probably one of the more clear photos that we've gotten of this drone in action. And after looking at this photo, examining it myself, I am very confident now that this is going to be an air drone that they'll be releasing here in the next week or so, maybe a couple weeks, I don't know. Uh, my projection was originally for the end of July, beginning of August, we'll see how that plays out. But I know in the near future, we will be seeing a new iteration of the DJI Air, and that means we're probably gonna see the DJI Air 3S. An upgraded sensor, I'm assuming, will have a one inch sensor on that wide angle camera, and then they'll probably maintain the one over 1.3 inch sensor on the telephoto camera. So definitely gonna be a different drone in terms of its output and performance. I'm excited about the possibilities of the Air 3, but this is only one piece of the puzzle that was added in the most recent leaks. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video that leaked on X as well. In this video, you'll see a DJI product tester out in the wild with what appears to be the DJI Air 3S. We also have some footage of the drone in flight. And again, just looking at the form of this drone and some of the characteristics of it, I'm very convinced this is going to be the DJI Air 3S. Seeing it in flight means that we have really a probably pretty imminent release of this drone. Again, my projection was end of July, beginning of August. That may push a little bit later, but I think in the very near future, we're going to get a new version of the DJI Air drone. I'm really excited to see what it has to offer. If you haven't already seen my video on the DJI Air 3S leaks, go ahead, click up in the corner here to go to that video. But to give you an overview of what I think we're going to see, I think again, we're gonna see a larger camera sensor in that wide angle lens. We're going to see the same sized camera sensor on the telephoto lens, that one over 1.3 inch sensor. So camera will be upgraded, at least in the wide angle. I think we're also going to see updated resolution. If we remember from the Mavic Air 2 to the Air 2S, we went from a maximum of 4K resolution to a maximum of 5.4K. I think we're going to see the same thing here with the DJI Air 3S. I think the drone will be able to shoot in at least 5.1K, what the Mavic 3 can shoot at with that one inch sensor. And I think that we're also going to see the potential for a true 4K portrait mode via a digital crop. Now, I don't know how the math would play out. Maybe some of you camera nerds out there can help correct me on that assumption. In the DJI Air 3, you were able to shoot portrait mode via a digital crop down to 2.7K. So the sensor size was still 4K, but it cropped into a 2.7K equivalent when it came to portrait mode digitally. So I think we're gonna see the same thing with the Air 3S, but instead of going from 4K to 2.7K, I think we're gonna go from 5K to a 4K equivalent in portrait mode. Not sure, but that is my assessment. That's what I presume is going to happen. It'd be even cooler if DJI just released a drone that had the ability to turn the camera much like the Mini does, but I don't know if the housing on this particular camera will be able to support that, especially when it's got the dual lens. It's a little bit different when you have to turn two cameras as opposed to one on their side to get that portrait mode. But that really is about it in terms of improvements on the DJI Air 3S. I don't think we're gonna see improvements anywhere else. In fact, I think we're also gonna to see some backslides, especially in the battery category. I do believe DJI is going to do what they did with the Mavic Air 2 to the Air 2S and allow you to use DJI Air 3 batteries on board the DJI Air 3S, which means you're going to get decreased flight time. It will be extremely marginal. I mean, it's going to be like two minutes that you're going to lose on the flight time, but you're going to get that increased camera performance. So just to sort of summarize, 
Going from the DJI Air 3 to the Air 3S, we're gonna see a lot of camera improvements. At least I think we're going to see a lot of camera improvements with the aircraft remaining largely the same. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments section below. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up icon down below. It helps me out a lot. It helps get this video out into the algorithm to more viewers like yourself. If you really like this video and you love drone content made by drones, about drones, and for drone pilots, my friend, this is the channel for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon too. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Until next time i'm chris the drone geek and i am out of here see ya yo yo what you say steady screaming y'all